Welcome to the second part of our tutorial on coordinates. In our last tutorial, we learned about the two types of coordinate systems that you can use in AutoCAD. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to transform polar coordinates into Cartesian coordinates. Let's begin by selecting the line tool. Let's enter coordinates of 0, comma 0, the origin point. Now let's enter our second point using polar format coordinates. We go to settings, settings again, polar format, OK, and OK. We're going to enter a location of 8 units, tab, and 30 degrees. Enter. Now right click and enter to accept our line. Here we've got the polar and coordinate grids that I've used in our last tutorial. As you see, the length of the line is 8 units. The theta, or angle, is 30 degrees. Once again, we're dealing with a right triangle. In order to locate the second point on the Cartesian coordinate system, we need to go back to our basic math lesson for a moment. As you remember from our previous tutorial, the three sides of a right triangle are the hypotenuse, the opposite, and the adjacent. Now let's figure out how we can determine the sine and the cosine of theta. These relationships determine our y and x coordinates respectively. The sine of theta equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, or y over r. The cosine of the angle equals the adjacent over the hypotenuse, or x over r. From here, our x and y coordinates are going to be as follows. x equals r multiplied by the cosine of theta. Our y coordinate in the Cartesian system will be determined by this equation, y equals r multiplied by the sine of theta. Let's begin by bringing in our calculator. It's on the Palettes panel of the View tab. If you don't see the dial pad, by the way, it may be collapsed. You're going to need to click on this button to expand it. Let's activate the cosine function. We need the cosine of 30 degrees multiplied by 8. The value is approximately 6.93. Now let's calculate the y coordinate. We need the sine of 30 multiplied by 8. The value is 4. And we're done. Our polar coordinate of 8, 30 is located at 6.93, 4 in the Cartesian system. There's a way that we can verify our findings. Let's move the calculator out of the way. We'll go to settings now. And let's change back to the Cartesian coordinate system. OK and OK. We click on the line, select this point, and we see that our value was correct. Let's do one more example. I'm going to create another line. Actually, let's change to polar coordinates first. Click OK and OK. Let's specify the first point, 0, tab, 0, enter. And let's specify the second point, 7 and 150 degrees, enter, right click and enter. Now let's bring back the calculator. First, let's get the x coordinate. It's going to be the cosine of 150 multiplied by 7. 150 7 equals The value is 6.6 .6 in the negative x direction. Let's get the y coordinate now. It'll be the sine of 150 multiplied by 7. equals, and our value is 3.5 units in the positive direction. Let's verify our findings by switching back to Cartesian coordinates. OK, and OK again. Now select our point, and we can verify that our calculation was correct. This concludes our tutorial on the polar and Cartesian coordinate systems.